someone that's looking to go into evangelism, if that's something that they're feeling they're being called to, what what word of advice would you give them? Pray till you don't have a voice to preach and preach till you don't have a voice to pray. That's what Brother Tim James told me when I first started uh, evangelizing full yeah. time. And that never left me. I'm you know, to write that down. Yeah, it, it was one of those like, and I it, like if I called him right now and said, "Hey, you remember when you told me this?" He'd probably be like, "What are you talking about?" But like, it, it was one of the, it stuck with yeah, me. Yeah, you know, and um, you know, and walk through every door. There's no door too small. Uh, I've I've been blessed to preach, in my opinion, for some of the greatest men in Pentecost and uh, men that have large churches and all of that stuff. And I'm I'm grateful for that. But there is a special anointing that comes on you when you're in a home missions church that, Mm -hmm. like, I can't explain it. It's something you tap into there that you don't tap into anywhere else. And I said that to say, don't begrudge the day of small beginnings. You know, you got to you got to remember where you came from and where you started. And it's not to say that, oh, I started preaching in in home missions churches, you know, like that. That's important. Yeah. You know, and uh, don't begrudge that. Use that as, you know. Prepare for that the same way you would prepare for to preach in front of two thousand people, you know, and that's that's something we don't ever need to forget as preachers in general. Uh, is it's not about the crowd you're preaching to because it, you know, God could have had that one there. You yeah. know, He left the ninety and nine for the one, and so if you're in a crowd of a thousand or fifteen, there's somebody there that needs to hear what you got to say. Yeah, and so don't don't ever forget. You know, I had a I had a friend of mine, and it really it touched me. Uh, he called me a while back ago, and uh, he said, you know, I, I struggled with this for a while because I had a friend that was preaching at a large church, and I was preaching at a, at a small church. He said, and then I was I was laying in bed, and I, I was restless. So I got up and went in the church, and I was praying. He said, there's you know, a church of 25 or 30 people, and um, God spoke to him. And I, I won't use his name. You know, but I, I wish I could. I'd call. I wish I could call him right now. And just the story just came to me. But um, and he said I was praying, and God spoke to me and said, "What's it about, anyways? Is it about souls or is it about you?" And he said, and it broke something in him, and he was able to really put into that revival. And I forgot. I think they had like eighty people in the next like four months get the Holy Ghost. And and when he tells the story, it's like you know the problem was me. You know, I was I was waiting to push through to get my name in front of all these people. And now he's, you know, he's successful and all of this stuff. But that's that's the main thing. Keep the main thing the main thing. You know, yeah. if you're if you feel like that's what you're called to do, then do it. Yeah. You know, and if the opportunity is to ten or a thousand, do it. Yeah. You know, so and people ask me all the time, because like it's and again, this this goes back to how I was raised. Like uh like I'm flying home uh what's today? Monday. So I'm flying home Wednesday. And I've got to preach in Mississippi Wednesday night, you know, and I've got friends that are like, man, why do you do that? It's like, well, if you're called to preach, preach, yeah. you know, like if if you're hired to to go to work and pour concrete every day and you show up and you don't pour concrete, yeah. you don't you know, you don't get to keep your job yeah. pouring concrete. So and I think the same thing applies to ministry is, you know, if you're called to preach, preach yeah and we're all called to you know teach bible studies and to pray so whatever you're called to do do it